Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Data Warehousing Series. This is our Lecture 1 of Week 1. And our topic for today is about the syllabus of the subject matter. The course title, Fundamentals of Data Warehousing and Architecture, Course Code, Buma, 30043, Course Description, this course provides the student with in-depth knowledge of data warehousing principles, data warehouse techniques, and business intelligence system. The course introduces the topic of data warehouse design, extract, transform load, ETL, data cubes, and data marts. Students will increase business intelligence using data warehouses with several OLAP and analytical tools. Next is the ELO or Institutional Intended Learning Outcomes. So we have here in three, creative and critical thinking. The second one, adeptness in the responsible use of technology. And the last we have the community engagement. Next we have the PILO or Program Intended Learning Outcome. Now right here the students will be able to describe architecture and methods for storage and provision of enterprise data. Students will develop competency in query development and essential business intelligence reporting. Next, we have the students will demonstrate competency in data modeling including dimensional modeling. Fourth, we have the students will learn steps involved in development of an enterprise data warehousing solution and at least one BI tool from end-to-end -to -end perspective. And the last is students will be able to describe architecture and methods for storage and provision of enterprise data. Next, we have the Course Indebted Learning Outcomes or CELO. This subject discusses the concept of data and database administration. It explains also the role of database administrator in the management of databases pertaining to the security, availability, quality of the databases. Second, we have identified specific SQL clauses that should be used in code development to be able to generate the required output. The last, we have evaluate existing database management platform which will suit the current and future needs of an organization. Next, we have implement a robust application using a specific DBMS which has been tested against the requirements of a particular business. By the way, this is the continuation of SILA. Next, we have apply test scenarios to make sure application works as expected. Ensure seamless implementation of DBMS programs or application for the business or organization. Identify all specific activities in each phase of a project plan from the planning to the implementation. Incorporate into the plan the scheduling of resources such as time, budget, and people which should make up the project team. Our course topic we have here first is the introduction to the course. And under this, we have three, namely, overview, refresher of relational database theory. Number two, overview, refresher of data modeling in third normal form using entity relationship diagramming. And the last, we have the ERD or entity relationship diagramming in Erwin modeling. Next, we have number two topic we have, data warehousing design. This talks about first, introduction, data marts in Mons methodology, Kimball's methodology, dimensional design, star schema, dimension. Next, we have tables, keys, and history, facts, tables, surrogate keys versus natural keys, rich dimensions, a slowly changing dimension type 1, 2, 3 hybrid, multiple stars, conform dimensions, snowflakes, out triggers, all up cubes, 3D hypercube. Another we have slicing, dicing, drill up, downs, roll up, pivot variation of cube architectures, mall up cube, roll up cube, all up cube, wall up cubes, 
dollop cube, RT olap cube. Now, our third topic is the data warehousing design continuation. And our fourth topic is the data warehousing design also continuation. So, the data warehousing design is more in times of uh, time and days in the lecture and even in the activity. Number five, we have the business case example of data warehouse design. Number six, we have architecture of data warehousing topics includes general architecture principles, SAP, BW, Teradata, and Hadoop. And that goes to the midterm examination one. This covers up to and including business case example of data warehouse design from the beginning up to the end of the topic. Final period, our first topic is about extract, transform, and load, ETL. The second is data visualization using W. Topic includes overview of data visualization, getting data, connection, extract, metadata, joins, blends, filters. Number nine topic on the final period, we have common visualization such as bar chart, tree maps, era chart, pie chart, circle chart, box and whisker, histogram, scatter plot, line chart, geographic visualization, dashboard, and the last we have the storyboard. Our 10 to 11 topic we have here, data visualization using Tableau with continuation on the previous topic. Next we have business intelligence using SAP, business object topics include universe design, connections, data foundation, business layer, folders, dimension measures. Another we have here all up universes, all up cube queries, and we have no SQL data queries from Hadoop. Our 12 topic we have here business intelligence using SAP business object which is the continuation also. Discussion on database security and how this is implemented. Uh, learning also the concept of database concurrency and know the equivalent command in DBMS to implement concurrency control command. Number 13, we have the project presentation. And 14 topic, we have the final exam number 2 or the end of the examination. Okay, This uh, examination covered... Uh, from the beginning midterm exam up to the final exam or it should be cover beginning of the cover to the ending of the cover. Now let's go and proceed to the course assessment and evaluation criteria, grading requirements, assignment, quizzes, hands-on activities, major requirements, midterm and or final exam, database project for small medium business. And here is uh, your grading system. First grading, online class standing, 70%, quizzes, long test, recitation, research work assignment, exercises, project, recitation, midterm examination. But uh, right now, we're going to remove recitation. There should be no recitation. And it would be replaced with case studies. The same in the second grading period. Online class standing, 70% quizzes, long test, recitation, research work, assignment, exercises, projects, Recitation, final examination, 30%. And again, recitation must be removed. It must be replaced with a case study. So final grade is equals to the first grading added by the second grade in a parenthesis divided by 2. And that is your final grade. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture 1. Thank you and good luck.